Dreary looking scene to kick off our Friday, unfortunately, but the good news is there's a silver lining and that is that we're getting some of the rainfall we need. We have about a six a tenth of an inch deficit coming into today for this month alone. Uh, yesterday we did pick up 13 hundredths of an inch, shaving a tiny amount off that deficit, uh, but uh, six tenths of an inch still the deficit uh, that remains at this point and for the year. Overall, about a quarter inch. We came into the month with a slight surplus, but overall we could use the rain. The soil is a little on the dry side. Vegetation has been getting dry, so this is a good situation. You're getting some steady light rain looking southward. Uh, just don't forget the rain gear because you're, we're going to regret it pretty quickly, especially if you're in Rochester right now. We're planted underneath this area of low pressure, and uh, it's generating showers right on top of us. Rain pivoting around this area of low pressure that's moving slowly toward western and then northwest Wisconsin. But as it now planted directly overhead, uh, it's going to keep that rain around for hours. It's been going on since about midnight. It will go on for another few hours, really for the rest of the morning and then afternoon more scattered hit or miss showers since midnight and really last evening we've been in the 50s and consistently in the low and mid 40s and that's where we're going to stay for the bulk of the morning. The afternoon will allow us to at least make our way back into the 50s as we'll see some breaks from the rain. But right now steady rain falling in Rochester on the weather patio. A tenth of an inch so far since midnight here at KTTC. 47 the, the temperature right now. Dew point uh, in the 40s as well. Relative humidity 92 percent. Uh, temperatures across the map mainly in the 40s. Rochester 45, Austin 46, Mason City 48 and lacrosse 50 at this hour. Uh, light rain continues to fall here in the Med City. Three mile per hour wind. Thankfully, it's not blustery because that would be not good for uh, uh, umbrella usage, as we all know, and it would actually make that wind chill a bit colder. So the wind chill matches the temperature at this point, and the barometer is steady as that area of low pressure is directly overhead. And that storm system will slowly edge its way northeastward, watching that on future track radar. Rain surrounding the system. It will be with us for much of the day. We will see an end of it. It'll be in the evening hours. So if you're thinking evening plans, Maybe right after six o'clock, seven o'clock, you get a chance to, to dry things out. But until then, keep that rain uh, in mind because it will be with us. Here's future track watching showers rotating around that area of low pressure. Uh, Rochester under the center of that system, but even the far reaching portions of the area will have hit or miss showers through much of the day. Center of low pressure moves north through the afternoon. By evening, here comes the back edge of the rain, and then it sweeps to the northeast and by 6 to 7 o'clock. That time frame, things will then dry out. Next round of rain, though, comes in tomorrow afternoon, so we'll have that again for parts of Saturday with another storm system, very weak system from the west. 45 in Rochester right now. It's 43 in St. Cloud. You've been watching these cooler numbers northwest of us all week, and now they are here. Uh, Marshall, 42 and 39 in Grand Forks, North Dakota. So light rain today will be in the 50s eventually by afternoon. It will be in the 50s breezier with spotty showers, especially afternoon tomorrow. And then uh, uh, a cool week ahead of us next week, 40s and 50s for highs. Sunday, I think by far the bright spot in the next several days. That will be literally the brightest day with some sun. Uh, but today for the morning commute, gloomy skies, gray skies, periods of rain, 44. Uh, going into the afternoon, scattered showers remain. They turn to the west, those winds, 54 by 3 o'clock. That'll be the high temperature today. And then easing back into the 40s as things dry out tonight. Kind of a crisp northwest breeze, uh, keeping things rather chilly by then as well. But future track watching that system moving into northwest uh, Wisconsin. Wisconsin showers wrap around the system uh, tonight. Things dry out. We'll have brisk winds, gray skies, temperatures in the low 40s and then tomorrow low 50s for highs. Another system comes in out of Kansas and Missouri moves into Iowa and then it spreads some rain showers, especially from Rochester to the east and southeast in the area. That'll move through the area through tomorrow night and then we dry things out with some sunshine on Sunday and that gives us a shot at reaching 60. But the only time we'll be able to do that in the next several days, spotty showers on Monday. Small chance of rain next Thursday as well. 54 would be the climate average this time of the year. We may do it a time or two. That's it though. Otherwise cooler than average for a change as we see more April like weather setting in. 54 in Rochester today, 53 in Albert Lee, 57 in Decor. Periods of rain, another quarter inch possible in the way of rain rainfall. Uh, west winds by this afternoon, 10 to 20 miles per hour. Northwest winds, a brisk breeze, 41 tonight, but drier. Seven day forecast will have 50s and a shot at 60 by Sunday. Next week, mostly 40s and low 50s. A little cooler than average, kind of making up, I guess, for what we've had this week, which has been incredibly warm. It sure has been nice. Thank you, Ted.